Ghost Rider, the spirit of vengeance. My second favorite superhero of all time. Yet, can Ghost Rider really be considered a superhero? Maybe it would make more sense to classify him as an anti-hero, in the same likes as Deadpool or the Punisher. But considering that Ghost Rider is actually a separate entity known as Zarathos, who really just cares about seeking vengeance on anyone who f**ks him over, or the innocent. Just look at this comic panel. Holy sh**. I'd hate to see the aftermath at McDonald's after they made him wait an hour and got his order on. I mean, you gotta admire the balls on this guy, if he has any, considering he's a flaming skeleton. So, they eventually decided to do a movie or two about him. And judging since it's the same director that did this masterpiece, you can imagine it wasn't very good. Actually, I gotta give them credit, as they did manage to get the deal with Mephisto right. But one of my major complaints is... Now, if you know anything about Ghost Rider, who does this look like? Not Johnny Blaze. Now, I'm fully aware of there being another run of Johnny Blaze, where they updated Johnny's design to look more like Danny's version of the character. And who can blame them? Ketch looks more bad -ass. What they did was, they took two characters, put them into a blender, like so. Mixed it up. And came out with a fucking confused martini. Now let's get into why I can't stand this film. Despite there being references to the comics showing what happened to Johnny Blaze's father, Martin Blaze. See, in Marvel Spotlight issue 5, we see the origin of Johnny Blaze, who is an orphan similar to how the movie showed. However, it's missing quite a bit of details. See, after Barton was killed off screen, if you will, Johnny then gets invited to move in with the Simpsons. He became so close to them that he actually referred to Roxanne's mother as his own, who was killed off due to another bike accident where the vehicle exploded after hitting a tree, which led to Johnny Blaze promising never to ride again. So if you're scratching your head right now, I'll come up with an easy explanation. So basically what I think happened here was the people at the studio, they took an issue of Ghost Rider, wiped their asses with it, and came out with this masterpiece right here. This is where Crash Simpson comes into play. Crash was the one in the original comics who got the disease, which led to Johnny becoming desperate because of the fact that not only did he lose his mother, but also the last promise he made to her would be broken. So what you saw in the movie pretty much played out the same in the comic, with the exception of they completely changed Roxanne's character to nothing more than a glorified cameo at best. See, in the comics, Roxanne is responsible for saving Johnny Blaze's life and fending off Mephisto, as when he is about to steal Johnny's soul, it's revealed that she learned about what Johnny was doing in his spare time. And Roxanne, being pure of heart, is able to save Johnny Blaze, but only to a certain extent. Now, you'd think the people at the studio would consider incorporating this into the film? Nope. Instead, they had this brilliant idea of taking that out of the film removing why it was so serious for Blaze to break his promise he made to his dying mother and finishing the stunt that caused Crash Simpson his life. Kind of like another Marvel character, where they completely changed his background story in an attempt to make it more interesting. Now let's look at Danny Ketch's origin. So it starts off with Danny and his sister Barb in a cemetery, and they witness something go down with a character named Death Watch. Barb screams after witnessing Death Watch kill someone, which leads to Danny taking her to an abandoned junkyard that has a new bike stored there, and a jewel is contained inside. When Danny touches the jewel, he is transformed into the Ghost Rider. And look at this! The bike is magically transformed into a hell bike, kind of like this scene in the first movie. As a matter of fact, someone tell me if this scene right here looks familiar. Also, this is the first time the pennant stare is used. Because when Johnny Blaze was the Ghost Rider, what he would do is burn a victim's soul from the inside, which sounds brutal as hell. It's like they just don't give a damn about the film they are making. You know, because in the comic, the devil gave Johnny these powers, and then Johnny used those powers to fight evil, and it never really made sense. So when Ghost Rider issue 77, some shit goes down between Zarathos and Mephisto, to where Mephisto takes over Zarathos' worshippers, and later on, curses him to be bonded with Johnny Blaze as punishment. If that's how they feel, why bother making a movie at all, considering you're not even using the fucking right character in the first place? I got an idea. Why don't we take Barry Allen, let him wear a hat with a shirt with a lightning bolt on it, jeans with brown boots, and instead of him dating Iris, 
Let's have him date Joan Williams instead. Makes no sense whatsoever. Another thing they clearly changed was how Johnny Blaze meets up with Carter Slade. You're already getting one Ghost Rider wrong, and you're doing two of them at the same time? Here, they meet in a cemetery, where Carter Slade is hiding a contract for a thousand souls from Mephisto. So whether this was a Danny Ketch thing or not, and I can't for the life of me figure out how they would come up with this concept, other than the usual. I mean, they even gloss over the reason at the end of the film why Blaze gets a second chance at all, since it was Jesus himself in the comic. I gave Blaze a second chance, and yet, you're perfectly okay with making a film about someone who makes a deal with the devil, and above all else, making it a PG-13 film, which normally wouldn't bother me at all, except for the fact that now kids themselves have access to this character, and for the ones curious enough to pick up a comic, they're gonna shit themselves when they see countless scenes of human rises and m**ualism in this series if they are reading about Johnny Blaze. Look into my eyes. Your soul is stained by the blood of the innocent. Feel their pain. 